the Power Queen lithium battery. Sent to us graciously by, of course, Power Queen. Now this is the booklet that comes with it. Nice waterproof little case. Now they used to make these, and if you look on the website, you may still see some older ones. The older ones were larger and heavier than what this is. This is a newly reconfigured battery. Made it smaller, made it lighter, made it better. Power Queen Premium 2, because I think they did, they said the other version. Mini, 12.8 volt. Website is there www.ipowerqueen.com and service is 100% great on these things. If you have a problem, they're going to fix it right up for you. So to email them, it's service at ipowerqueen.com. On top of it, it's got its ports up here. And so I include some stickers in this little bag. Dark and stickers. Make them whatever you want them to. And it's actually a nice little product menu that they included here. Sometimes the product manuals don't really work the product, but this one's actually good. It's really important safety information, warnings. Tells you exactly what to do. See, it's popping off the yellow plastic tabs I just took off. Putting your screws in. And then Make sure the battery is fully charged. Connect your terminals. Put your caps on. And then it's ready to go. And it's got... They send us the battery, and instead of just showing you the features of the battery, we purchased ourselves a inverter, power adapter inverter, so that we could actually show you what this can actually charge up. So the inverter in the battery, it's 1500 watt um, power inverter and again it's a 12.8 volt battery lithium phosphate deep cycle battery okay it says it right on here you can see that uh, get things so i'm going to test a variety of things a variety of things on the table here so they're in the lamp and coffee maker toaster drill sander a hair dryer and a vacuum down here and our portable freezer fridge that uh, we did a review recently on so these are all going to be tested with this battery and let's see how it does should uh, should charge everything here we'll let you know and away we go see that hear that I'm sure Runs that absolutely perfectly. Inverter's on. Battery's still loading. Works absolutely perfectly. Okay, let's go to test number three. As you can see, drill spinning. So I have the drill and I have the lamp plugged in to the one inverter. The lamp is on. Now the drill. Now you can see the lamp flicker. I don't know if you can see that or not. Light is flickering when I put on the drill.
but nothing is popping. It's all very good. Let's move on to test number four. So we get toast in the toaster. When I did this previously, the fan came on. So the fan is coming on and the toaster is on, but it's not breaking the circuit. It's still toasting, it's still hot. It's still toasting like it should be. As you can see on our toaster, it counts down. It's toasting as it should. So now I've got the hair dryer. I switched up hair dryers because the other one was too powerful for this system. So this one is 1600 watts. Again, the inverter is only 1500 watts. Absolutely fine. Okay, now we're at the coffee maker. And although you may look at your appliances as being just a coffee maker, just a toaster, just a kettle, whatever, they are actual power beasts. You can run an air conditioner better than you can run a coffee maker. These things take a tremendous amount of power. So this is only a single coffee maker. It's, um, I mean, I don't mean single size, I mean it's a regular size uh, pot on it. It just doesn't have, you know, clay or something, anything beside it. So it's plugged in. Let's get some water in there. And on goes the fan again, which is a safety precaution to keep the unit cool down because it knows that this is a powerful machine. So I'll just put a little bit of water in there just to test it and then let's see what happens here. Yep. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it is it is coming out, it is percolating, and oh, it's running absolutely fine, which is a good thing. So all these things are things that if, if you lose power, if you lose your hydro, turn it off a bit. So if you lose your power, and you lose your hydro, you have a battery. If you have this battery, or you have a power station, or you have a combination of batteries and power stations, you're golden. You have the opportunity to still live with the things that you need to until your power returns. Um, we live, if anybody watching here follows our channel regularly, you know we live off grid. If all failed, then you still have, and even with hydro, you still have the ability to have power, to have lights, you know, coffee, is it an emergency? Is it a necessity? For some people. But in reality, as long as you've got lights, if you've got a portable heater, then you could hook that up to this. Okay. Plugged in. I'll just put it on the chair here so that I can access it better and you can see it. So, turning it on. And it runs it perfectly. The inverter didn't break. The inverter fuses did not set off. Power didn't turn off. So it runs it fine. That's really good to know. Okay. We have a Blue Eddy power station here. And it's charging it. So now Plugged in, no fan, no fan on the inverter. So, 
everything works on it. There's a light. Okay, lights. Light works fine. It's powering up. I'm gonna. I have a. the power station. If I plug it, plug it directly into the inverter here, so the blue eddy is powered into it, plugged into it, and so is the That's impressive, I like that. So between the Blue Eddy and the Power Queen battery, it all works together. So I have one last test here. Do the laptop. Okay, laptop. Plugged into the inverter, which is attached to the Power Queen. Okay, power from the Power Queen going into the inverter into the laptop. Turn it on. See the lights come on the laptop. Which is another good thing. Have communication if you have no power. It's also a necessity. I'm also going to plug my phone in here. And oops, no I'm gonna plug the phone in. Plug the phone because this laptop is fine, powered up. Like our little house. That's our little house. That's where I'm filming from right now. And as you can see, solar panels on the roof. I wasn't kidding about them. We are not on the grid. So the phone is charging. You see at the top of it here? Shows you that the phone is charging. Another communication tool that you will need if you have no power. Computer, everything works on it, it's fine. Powers up. This here, beautiful, perfect. Love it. It will help us tremendously if the time comes where we need it. Let's shut this off. So powering up and powering down. No problem. It shuts down. What more can I say? Buy it. It's a great addition to your household. It's a great addition if you need extra power if you lose your power even a thunderstorm thunderstorms can take out hydro very easily a temporary measure actually you can stack these together so you buy one and you can align it with another one and another one and another one so you build yourself a battery bank and you have enough power to live quite comfortably for quite a while so if you have these things in your crawl space, in your basement, even if you don't use them, have them, just in case of an emergency. They used to make a larger one. This is a brand new model that they have. 12.8 volts, premium. Lithium iron phosphate. The best battery you can buy, in my, in my sense. We have our solar batteries are the same thing. Not this brand. But they are lithium ion phosphate deep cycle battery, this one here. You won't, absolutely won't go wrong with it. So check out their website. Check out what it can do for you. Look it up, research it. Have this on hand for emergencies. Is a good thing. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Mm -hmm.